this week's episode of Veterinary Secrets, you're going to learn how to prevent and treat your dog's ear infection with natural remedies. This is Dr. Andrew Jones and welcome to Veterinary Secrets where you'll quickly and easily learn how to treat your pet's health problems at home with my natural remedies. Now let's get on to today's video. A normal ear is light pink, not tender and very easy to examine um, as you can see in this picture here. In dog ear infections, often there's a foul smelling black, yellow or brown discharge. The ear is very thickened and you can see the yellow in, in this image here. Most ear infections have an underlying cause. Most commonly, that's an allergy. Dogs with large floppy ears, such as this basset here, have very poor air circulation, which traps moisture, allowing bacteria and yeast to grow. Yeast ear infections usually have a black discharge. The bacteria that cause the infections include staph and pseudomonas. Step one, cleaning. How to clean your dog's ear. So what I've got here is my dog Jesse. He's, I've got him lying comfortably on a table. I suggest you have your dog lying on the ground. You're sitting on a table. And we're assuming that we're cleaning his left ear here. So I just lift up his ear here and you actually see it exposed. And there's the opening of his ear down into his ear canals. And what I've got here is a 50-50 mixture. 50% water, 50% vinegar. I'm just going to mix it up. I'm shake it up so it's well mixed and I'm going to put a small amount approximately one or two teaspoons squirting it into his ear so I open up his ear here seat this bottle firmly down into the ear canal and I just give it a little bit of a squirt so I can hear the fluid filling up his ear then I grab with the base of his ear so I'm grabbing with my thumb and my forefinger the oil there give you. I'm squishing his ear. You may be who you're squishing it. So what we're doing is we're working that fluid down into the ear canal. So we, I do that for about 15 seconds. Make sure it's well worked in. Then I've got myself some 4x4 gauze. You can also use a cotton ball. And I'm going to use my my finger my, my and work my work at the cotton ball into his ear canal. Wipe the excess debris out. If your dog or cat has red open wounds, do not use vinegar, as it would be very painful. You need to use a soothing topical first, such as olive oil and vitamin E. Step 2. Treating the infection. Treating your dog's ear infection. For this, I'm using an aloe product. This is an, an, an aloe based topical which works well. It can be worked, used topically on the skin. It can also be used directly in the ear. And it's one which I recommend if you've got a dog with very sore ears from an infected ear, if you've got open wounds, and something like vinegar, vinegar would be quite painful. So in that case, I buy something such as aloe. And here I've just put something similar in just a small dispensing bottle. I poured some of that aloe out. And then what I would do with my own dog, as we're going to do here with Jesse, is I've got him lying comfortably on the table, lifting up his ear, exposing his ear canal. I'm seating that bottle right into the base of the ear, doing a small squirt with the aloe product. For something like Jesse, I'm doing about a teaspoonful, and I'm just going to grab my thumb and my forefinger, massage the base of it in really well. You know, some dogs it's tender, so you want to be gentle about it, but you just got to massage it in, grabbing your thumb and your forefinger, massaging it in deeply. And that's how you would treat your dog's ear infection with aloe. Healing oils. You can use a mixture of one tablespoon of olive oil combined with one capsule of vitamin E and insert that into your pet's ear. Common organisms causing the infections include yeast, and you can suspect this if the debris is brown and has a sweet odor. Yeast often responds well to vinegar. Less commonly, there's a more serious bacteria called Pseudomonas. Pseudomonas responds well to Tris EDTA, um, which breaks down the bacterial cell wall. Um, it's, it's pictured here and it's available from your veterinarian. Step 3. How to prevent the infections from coming back. 
The first thing is getting your dog on a hypoallergenic diet. And if you haven't done a dietary trial, you should now. The biggest thing is feeding a completely different protein source with minimal added ingredients. And this is something which must be fed for a full 12 weeks to know whether it's effective or not. Avoid things such as dairy products. In dogs, the most common allergens are beef, chicken, egg, cow milk, wheat, soy, fish, rice, potato, and corn. In cats, the most common allergens are chicken, fish, dairy products, plus the common carbohydrates, including wheat, rice, and corn. The essential fatty acids. Flax oil is good for both dogs and cats, the dose being one teaspoon per 10 pounds of body weight. You can also use fish oil, a dose of one capsule per 10 pounds. The big point here is you need to be using therapeutic doses of these essential fatty acids at 1,000 milligrams per 10 pounds daily, much higher than most veterinarians prescribe. Then lastly, consider the use of apple cider vinegar. It's naturally antibacterial, antifungal. Um, it's something that you can be using once a week on your dog, and it will help with most cases of recurring ear infections. Thank you for watching this week's edition of Veterinary Secrets. What I want you to do right now is click the link in the box above and you can get my free book and videos on how to heal your pet at home with my top natural remedy.